our power. Our power. People power. NUP. Everywhere. Everywhere. NUP. A jolly way. Oh yeah. 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 Oh Thank you very much, Honorable Tolit. Afford to try to lead Kenya. Thank you very much, all my fellow leaders. Afford to do you your tail, Papa Tinoop. And thank you very much, my brother Sekondo, for interpreting for me. Afford your Sekondo for Kapodaga. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is an affair that started and is going to be finished here in Omoro. Man, look, much I pay. Double mate, double tum kikakan. But when I cross to Northern Uganda, my name is Ogen Lapiem. I came here to bear, to bear a testament. But I want you to know that you have an opportunity. Uh, can we pay attention? Of Omoro, you have been misrepresented for a long time. Now I am reminding you that you have the power in your hand to send somebody in parliament so that when they speak in parliament they are representing Omoro. I know that Omoro is the area that is so affected with the nodding disease yes. but all the money that is being appropriated to fight it is stolen i know that many of your cows were stolen during the war how many of you have been compensated I, yes, I would go on and on talking about your health care system. I would go on talking about your roads. I would talk about the schools and every other infrastructure. But I don't want to waste time talking about problems when I am standing next to the solution. I can only tell you that the solution to those problems begins with voting to lead into parliament. I can only remind you and I'm telling you, I wish I was voting from here so that I have the opportunity to vote for one of We have enough numbers. All the way we have come from, everybody is lifting his fist in the air. And vote. And vote. Help the old people and those who are sick to go and vote. That means you are voting for Tolit. Tolit is an actual name. But it also has a name. In, in Kampala, they say this man is too lit. <laughs> it means it, it, it means being too smart. It means being on fire. Therefore, Tolit is help Uganda and send one of the smartest. MPs in Parliament from Omoro. I know they are going to lie to you. They are going to bring a lot of money to you. They are going even to force you and even feed you. But they are going to and even take some to the police because they will want to lie to you all of you ladies and gentlemen not so many talk about it but all of you know what happened to the next speaker they don't want you to talk about the poison but you know don't you know you will only see on in the air so we have an answer, the answer is to me, ladies and gentlemen. We can only tell you, 
But you have the power to send Tolis to Parliament. When Tolis goes to Parliament, you will join all the forces for change in Parliament. It, it, it will be another effort, another step. And you will be but the main mission is to remove the dictator called Museveni. The problem of Uganda is Museveni. I will ask, ladies and gentlemen, to stop Power. Our power, people power, NUP, everywhere, everywhere, NUP, actually we, oh yeah, 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 oh Thank you very much. Afoy Matek. Thank you very much, Honorable Tolit. Afoy to Twal Tolit Rakeja. Thank you very much, all my fellow leaders. Afoy to Dujo Lutaila Papati Noob. And thank you very much, my brother Sekondo, for interpreting for me. Afoy Sekondo Pikopodaga. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is an affair that started and is going to be finished here in Omoro. But when I cross to Northern Uganda, my name is Ogen Lapiem. I came here to bear, to bear testament. But I want you to know that you have an opportunity. Uh, can we pay attention to of Omoro? You have been misrepresented for a long time. Now I am reminding you that you have the power in your hand to send somebody in parliament so that when they speak in parliament they are representing Omoro. I know that Omoro is the area that is so affected with the nodding disease. Yes. But all the money that is being appropriated to fight it is stolen. I know that many of your cows were stolen during the war. How many of you have been compensated? There's nothing. I would go on and on talking about